Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to show you our crochet polka dot lines baby blanket. Just do a practice swatch for you so that you can um, learn how to do this cute blanket. We are using Karen Simply Soft in Victorian Rose and uh, Karen Simply Soft in white and I'm using, this is a Susan Bates Comfort Grip H-8 five point millimeter hook. So I just bought this at Joann's. That's where I get it. And um, okay, let's get started. The pattern repeat for this blanket is any multiple of the number six plus one. So for today's little swatch, I'm going to do 18. Six times three is 18 plus one. So my base chain will be 19. But we always do that so that you can, um, you know, work your own blanket size because maybe you won't use this yarn, you know. So anyway, that gives you an option. Just, okay, sorry, I can't talk and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. The first row is going to be all half double crochet. So I'm going to start in the third chain from the hook. So don't ever count this loop that's on the hook. You start with the next one as your number one, two, three. I'm yarning over, inserting my hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop, and yarning over and pulling all through all three. Um, I think this would be a great blanket for an advanced beginner. So if you are an advanced beginner and you haven't ever seen the half double crochet stitch, this is just one extra stip, stitch or step from a single crochet. Basically I'm yarning over to get a, a extra loop on my hook. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep working across this whole row to the end and then I will chain two and turn. Okay, so the full pattern, if you're only seeing this on YouTube, is on our website, daisyfarmcrafts.com. We have a link in the description, um, but if you still have a hard time finding that, which is hard to find sometimes on that YouTube app, there's a tiny, the tiniest of tiny arrows that you push and then all of the pattern information pops up. But if not, you can always just Google crochet polka dot lines, baby blanket, Daisy Farm Crafts, and it should pop up for you if you want the written instructions. I think Hannah started her baby blanket. It was about 31 inches wide and she started her base chain with 97. Okay, I'm to the end of the row. I'm chaining two and I'm going to turn. So what the stitch we used in this blanket is still a half double crochet, but instead of working underneath the top two loops, we go ahead and I'm jumping my hook down here underneath all three loops, and I call it working in between the posts, mainly because I have not discovered a different kind of a name for it. It is not actually a split half double crochet because I'm not splitting the half double crochet. I'm working into the hole that's in between the two posts. So underneath all three loops. But it still is a half double crochet. I'm yarning over, inserting my hook, pulling through, you know, yarning over again, and pulling through all three loops on the hook. Okay, so I am going to show you though the, what I love about this stitch and maybe as an advanced beginner you would really appreciate this, especially if you're struggling with having your sides of your blanket um, go crooked on you. This one is pretty much a fail-safe um, pattern to help you make sure you hit that last stitch and there's no confusion because you will work between the last post and the turning chains. So there's no turning chain to find other than to, I mean, to, you know, poke your hook into and wonder if that was the right spot. Okay, so here we are. I'm at the end of the row. Here's that post and here's those two chains. 
you're going to always work your last stitch to the left of that post and before those chains and that's your last stitch okay no having to work into the chains that's it you're done chain two and turn just like a page in the book and i'm going to do one more row of this um, half double crochet working between the posts and then I'm going to show you one of the lines of the polka dot line. I believe in the pattern online for Hannah's blanket she ha go I think you go ahead and you crochet 15 rows of just the Victorian rows using this stitch um, but just since we're doing a swatch we're just gonna get that row going show you the cluster and again there is dispute is it a cluster is it a puff so many names i still can't figure it out myself <laughs> i think i'll call it a half double crochet puff but again like you know but in this blanket hannah calls it a polka dot so okay here we are to that last stitch i want to just make sure you see it this is going to probably be the just the trickiest spot the trickiest part just make sure you work to the left of that last post and into the hole of those turning chains, just like that. Okay, except I want to change color. So I'm just gonna work half of it. I'm gonna grab my white, simply lay it over the hook and pull through. Now I do cut off, I will go back and I will cut this Victorian rose off. And I will weave that, in fact, I'll just do it right now so it's out of my way. Um, mm, I probably cut that too short. I usually like to leave it a little bit longer than that. It's a swatch, just so you have enough to, to weave in on a tapestry needle. I thought probably nine inches would have been better. Leave a long tail. Okay, chain two and turn, just like we've done before. And now we are going to still continue working that half double crochet in between the posts. I'm just going to work the first five stitches in that in that stitch before we get to the cluster puff poke it up whatever you want to call it so here's number five okay and here's how to make that cluster we call and it's just a regular half double crochet again i'm inserting my hook into the next space as usual I'm yarning over and pulling up a loop now i'm going to stop right there and yarn over again insert my hook again into the same space pull it up that's two times i'm going to do this for a total of five times there's three i'm going to do it one more time i'm working right into that same space here's four and here's the fifth time and it is wants to get a little tight on me did you see how i kind of give it a little tug every time to get it up there because now i'm going to yarn over and pull through all of them every thing there's my little puff. I like it because it shows through on both sides of the blanket. And we're just gonna continue crocheting. There's no, don't chain. Just yarn over, insert your hook into the very next stitch and be on your way. So there's one. We're gonna put another five in between. Two, three, here's four and five. Now I'm going to do my puff so yarn over insert a hook pull it up yarn over again do that five times same stitch last one it gets a little bit tight so kind of yarn over pull through all of them now the last five spaces We'll just be regular half double crochet and all we do one two three four fifth one you know that spot stop right here and now we're going to add back in our um, victorian rose in the same way and we're done with our white Okay, so now chain two and turn, working those half double crochets. Now I want you to just 
still work in between the posts and that way I just want to demonstrate what it's going to look like when you get close up to that little polka dot. Don't be afraid of it. Just think of it as a fat half double crochet. Go ahead and work to one side of it. Just as if it was just yeah a fat one and then come over to the other side of it. And you've got your little polka dot right there. Okay, you're going to work another three rows and you will add another row of white dotted lines, but this time they'll be a little bit, the counting will be different. So go ahead, I'm gonna push pause, work three more rows in Victorian rows, and I'm actually gonna cut off the white too. We always will cut those off. We'll weave in all those ends later. So I'm gonna take a little pause and um, come back and I'll show you the next row of dots. Okay, I have my three rows done. And just before I finish that last stitch, I'm going to go ahead and join with the white. I'll come back and cut that Victorian rose off in a minute. I'll chain two and turn. And for this row, since we want the dots to be a little bit off center, we are going from each other. I'm just going to work two of the half double crochet in the first two stitches. And I will work that dot or puff right here in this third stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it gets tight on that fifth one. That's okay. Pull through. Now I'll, I'll go back to my other pattern of I will work five. One, two, three, four, five, and then you can imagine. So basically, I'm pretty sure you've got this all figured out. The dots are on either the sixth stitch or the third stitch of the row, and you'll alternate that for the next two times that you have puff rows. Okay. So continue to work down this row, one, two, three, four, five, and right here on the sixth one, and then magically we will have two left on this side, just like how we started the row, three, four, five. Boy, take some practice. Uh-oh, see, not these ones aren't as... There we go. One and two. Done. There we go. Now they're boom, 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 boom. You will work three rows of the pink, another this repeat of this row, another three rows, a repeat of this row, and then I believe you'll have 15 rows again of the all half double crochet work in between the post. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I will just quickly do a couple more rows. I'm gonna weave in my ends so that I can show you the border because it's a little bit of variation on the half double crochet and I wanna make sure you know that too. All right, I thought I'd get back on here and show you the very last end that I have to weave in just in case you're curious and you've never seen this done. I'm using a tapestry needle. It has a large eye and a blunt tip. And basically, I just weave it in and out as many different places as I can to just disguise it. And that way the ends will stay secure. Um, and since I'm putting a border on this blanket, I'll kind of like do it close to the edges because then they'll, they'll get crocheted over but um, I do take the time to do this. I used to crochet over my ends as I went, but they end up popping up after a while and I didn't like the look of it after the blanket was used for quite a bit. I think you can disguise them more. You just have to take the time to do it of 
weaving in these ends. So you can see I work it back and forth several times and then I call it good. And I just clip it as close to the end as I can. So that's what weaving in ends looks like. Okay, so in my little sample, whatever, it does not matter, pick a corner that you want to work into. I usually actually go against. So let's just pick this top right hand corner as if we turned and chain, you know, that way. Okay, so I'm going to pull up a loop in a corner just by laying over the yarn over my hook, sorry. And I'm gonna go ahead and chain two. And then I will continue to work another half double crochet into that stitch. And I'm going to work one more. And that will just kind of be my corner. We always wanna work three into the corner. So I'm using that chain two as the first stitch. Now I'm going to work one half double crochet around the entire blanket. And I'm going to work three half double crochets into the corners. That's pretty standard for um, any kind of blanket edge. Um, my goal is gonna try to work one half double crochet per row. And that will hopefully keep it as even as possible. I would say that is the trickiest part about borders is that sometimes the tension is off um, and it's just oh, it's so tricky. Sometimes though it, I find it's totally up to you. You can skip stitches if you need to to work down the sides of a blanket. Um, it is tricky. Some people prefer to do single crochet and that would be totally fine too. Okay here we are on that last stitch. This is where I'm going to work three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to work one per row. So that third one kind of counts for that row. So I'll go to this next space. Next. And it's, you know, just working over that, those chain twos. at the end of the row, you know, how we chain two and turn. So. I'm gonna work three more into the corner. And then all I need to show you is what we call the modified half double crochet. So keep working around your blanket and I'll meet you back after we've got the whole thing finished. Okay, I'm back at that starting corner and I'm going to go ahead and um, you have two options, depends on what yours looks like. You can either just slip stitch to the top, but if you feel like it needs a another, you know, one to fill in that gap to be in the corner, you could do that. But I think I'm just gonna slip stitch to that starting chain right there. And then I will chain two and I'm gonna turn in the opposite direction. Okay, so when I come back to that corner, this can be one of the legs and I'll, I'll work the remaining two stitches right there. But now we're gonna work around going this way. So it's kind of like we're already out of that corner. I'm gonna feel like that's the corner right there. So what we do is called a modified half double crochet. And instead of working in between like I've taught you, you know those two, these two V's that you're staring at? We're gonna work up underneath both of them. And that, sorry, this first one's kind of tricky. There we go. It's kind of a modified look. Show you, it's gonna give you a nice little rope look on the back side of this. So I'm yarning over and I'm inserting my hook up underneath those two, the two loops that face you of the half double crochet. So front two loop, half double crochet, you could call it. Modified half double crochet. So many names. Okay, I'm gonna show you the other side of this. 
see how it's going to leave you this little braided look? And when you go back around on the other side too, I think she has you do, we're going to do four rounds of this and you'll see that the edge, and you'll probably see that in the, in the picture. And it gives a really nice look to finish off this blanket. So that is what we did and still continue to work three of these in the corner and then join with that chain two, the starting chain and turn and then continue for three more rows of this modified half double crochet. Okay, next stitch will be my third. All right, thank you everyone for stopping by. Thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you have good success um, making your blanket, your polka dot blanket. So come and share a picture with us. We love to share. So if you get yours finished, hashtag it Daisy Farm Crafts on Instagram or go ahead and share a picture to my Facebook page. I'd love to share it with everybody else. It's super inspirational for people to see the finished projects. And so, and I love seeing them too. It's just so fun. Okay, thank you everyone. We'll see you soon.